Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel. I thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful city of Brisbane in the wonderful and spectacular country of Australia. Now I'm inside the chapel of St. Stephen here in the center of Brisbane. In the next few minutes I'm going to show you the most remarkable piece of art I have ever seen. I'm going to show you the statue of the only Australian saint, Mary MacKillop here inside the chapel of St. Stephen. I will explain to you its features and why this is one of the most wonderful, fascinating pieces of art you have ever seen. Come on, let's go. You're going to enjoy this tour. Okay, we'll uh, start our tour by identifying the location with this remarkable piece of art is located at here in Brisbane. I'm inside the chapel of St. Stephen, the Catholic chapel of St. Stephen here in the center of Brisbane, built in 1850. And this is the very first church in Queensland, the very first Catholic church here in Queensland. It served as a church between 1850 and 1859. And then as a cathedral, the Catholic cathedral, until 1874, when a new one, a much larger cathedral of St. Stephen was built next door to this one. Right there in the back, you can see the remarkable wooden sculpture of Mary MacKillop. M A C capital K I double -L, L O P. The only saint from Australia. Australia has only one saint, Catholic saint, and this is Mary MacKillop. And her wooden sculpture is located here inside the chapel of St. Stephen. That's the one we're going to look at today. Because without a doubt, if you look at pictures or videos from Brisbane or above Brisbane, you will see this absolutely spectacular sculpture mentioned as well or included as well. So let's study it. And let's see what it is that makes this sculpture so unique, so wonderful, so spectacular. Now this is not a video about a Christian saint. It is more about a remarkable sculpture, probably one of the most beautiful I have ever seen in my life. Now Mary MacKillop was born in 1842 and died in 1909. She was born in uh, Victoria, Melbourne area. And she became a saint in 1995 under the Pope John Paul II, as he was canonized in 2010. In 1998, in her honor, the Brisbane-based sculptor John Elliott created this remarkable sculpture that you see here, and we're going to look at which is located inside the chapel of St. Stephen. Let's get a look closer and see how he did it. Let's examine the technique that he used. Let's admire the beauty of this absolutely remarkable sculpture. What the sculptor did, John Elliot, he took uh, a 100-year-old tree, camphor laurel tree. He sliced it into pieces, into slices. And then he went through the very difficult process of putting the slices and the pieces together in order to compose the body of Mary MacKillop. Now the camphor laurel tree is known for its fragrance, for its beautiful smell. And this is one striking thing once you enter this chapel. 
you're gonna smell this wonderful smell from the tree so when he used the tree the tree was already a hundred years old he sliced it you can see the slices here you can see the vertical slices that he used then he reassembled the slices together in order to create what it looks like it's about two and a half meters in height body of Mary McKillop now it's not just a method that he used but it is what he accomplished let's look at her face which is absolutely remarkable now she was known for taking care of uh, poor children and opening schools for poor children all over Australia and what he has done here on her face he shows how calm she was committed and determined her expression on her face is absolutely remarkable and again this is not a video about a saint but a video about a sculpture representing a saint that it tells us so much now if we look at the posture of her body you can see that she is moving forward and the idea of making her sculpture from wood it represents the wooden houses and the fences that she was passing throughout the years in her travels here in Australia now look at her body here you will see that the outside of the sculpture is the bark of the laurel, of the, the camphor laurel tree. Look at the extension of her hand. How her hand is placed in relation to her body. She is moving forward. You can see she is definitely moving forward. see the cross embedded right there but what is really remarkable is her whole posture she is definitely calm her eyes relay a message of deep thinking maybe praying as she is moving you can see the wood how it is carved how beautiful this statue or wood carving or memorial or monument call it what you want I haven't seen anything like this since I saw a da Vinci statue in the Louvre about a year ago look at this so thousands of people come here just to look at this remarkable statue. Of course, they come here for religious purposes as well. You can see the candles from the faithful here. There's going to be mass in a few minutes. That's why I'm videotaping this during this time, because they turn the lights on just before mass and we get a chance to see the whole sculpture with all the details this is it guys there's no more words I can express but if you ever come to Brisbane you will spend quite a few minutes of your time admiring this 
regardless if you are Catholic or not, Christian or not. It is the absolute incredible work that John Elliot did here. And one last look. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.